you're the master. Your consciousness will look at your genes and adjust it to fit your vision of the world. And if you have a negative vision of the world, then negative chemistry comes forth. But if you're in love, for example, uh, the wonderful chemistry of love that you find in the blood is, well, dopamine for pleasure, oxytocin to bond you with that source, vasopressin, a hormone that makes you more attracted to keep your partner, and growth hormone. And I go, wow, if you make a cocktail out of those elements called culture medium, the cells thrive like crazy. But then I say, well, what if you have a thought of fear? I go, the love chemistry doesn't come out of the brain. Fear chemistry, stress hormones, factors that regulate the immune system that shut it down come out in fear. And I go, oh, I say, what's the relevance? I say, the blood in a state of fear has chemistry that doesn't support vitality. In fact, it shuts down the system. And I go, because in protection, you wall yourself up, so you shut it down. I go, so love gives you growth. Fear shuts off your growth. And all of a sudden I say, yeah, but the vision of love and fear is what determines the chemistry, which in turn determines genetic activity. Conclusion, your thoughts are manifesting not just your interior <coughs> life expression, but also your behavior that influences your life in the outside world.